activate. Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a USB powered electromagnet. So this is just an electromagnet that will plug into your computer or a USB charger or anything that has a USB plug and um, basically it's an electromagnet. So here um, I have a small model one but I'm going to also make one in this video. So it's just a switch and as you can see it's off right now so it's not picking up any of these paper clips. But when I switch it on It'll go around, pick up, pick up paper clips, and then you can switch it off, and it'll drop them. So the three things that you're going to need that are really important are going to be obviously your USB cable. Now this doesn't have to be a micro USB or mini USB. You just have to make sure that it has a regular USB end that will plug into your computer, and that the wire is you know decently long. You know this this wire is not very long, um, but it's it, it's long enough for this experiment. So just make sure that you have this end on a USB and it can be any USB it can be an old iPhone cable or anything like that so that's one and then we're gonna need what's called the core of the magnet which is a soft iron core these are actually not too easy to find but I found a great place and you can actually pick this up for about two dollars I'll put a link in the description box for where you can get this iron core and then the last thing you're gonna need is gonna be a certain gauge copper magnet wire now what this wire is is it's really thin um, as you can see it's really thin um, this is about I want to say probably 32 gauge wire um, the wire I used to make this magnet is a little thicker it's about 24 gauge wire so anywhere between 20 and 30 is usually going to be good for this um, you can pick it up uh, I would recommend getting a length of at least a hundred feet um, obviously more the merrier uh, the longer your wire, the more turns on the magnet equals more powerful the magnet is. So what you're going to want to do first is take your magnet wire and your core and you're just going to want to wrap it, the, the magnet wire, around the core as many times as you can. So this is very tedious and very difficult. So you can wrap this uh, in a numerous different ways. Um, what I found is the easiest is to just either get some hot glue or uh, some sort of cement type and bond the end of the wire around the, the end of it and then what you want to do is just wrap it. Now you want to make sure your windings are really tight and close together kind of like this. You can see that those wires are really close together and really tight so basically you want to wrap the whole rod like that or at least a good section like for this small gauge wire I would only wrap about this much of it. Um, when you cover the whole thing you can go ahead and start wrapping over the top of the next one and eventually you'll have it fully wrapped like this. Now what this, what I've done here is I've uh, wrapped the whole rod but I've covered it in electrical tape um, so the wire doesn't come off. Um, you can do that, you can cover it with electrical tape, you can glue it down using hot glue will work too. Um, you can cover it in uh, rubber cement would also work. Um, anything just to keep the wire on the uh, metal core. So once you've wrapped the whole rod and you've covered it and you've sealed it, um, you should have two ends of the wire so this is one end this is the other end of the wire and what I've done is I've go ahead and soldered on alligator clips onto them um, one thing you have to be aware of is on the end of this wire it is not uh, it is coated so you're gonna have to scrape off the coating on the edge of the wire and how you can do that is just to take a knife and just uh, slowly carve off the paint so here's the end and I'm just gonna take a knife here and I'm just gonna going to carve off the paint on it. So as you can see it's red there and then um, I, I shaved off some of the enamel and it's actually a silver wire underneath. Alright so what's next is to take your USB cable and you're going to want to just cut the end off of it. So you have this end that has the uh, regular USB cord you want to chop off the other end. Okay so we're going to cut off this end so because we're going to be using this end. So what you can do is just get a pair of scissors or really anything and just go ahead and cut that end off. And when you cut that end off, you're going to get something that looks a little bit like this. Um, it's going to be covered in um, some silver stuff. Just go ahead and peel that away, and you're going to be left with four wires on the inside. What we're going to be using is we're going to be using the red wire and the black wire. Um, the uh, white and green wire we won't be using. You can actually just cut those off if you want. Um, but yeah, we're going to be using the red wire and the black wire. Um, USB cables usually carry around 5 volts, 
So our electromagnet is going to be powered off of a 5 volt USB. So when you cut these open, you're going to see red and black. What you're going to want to do is connect these two wires to the two ends of your electromagnet. It doesn't really matter what end, that's just going to change the polarity of the magnet. But uh, for overall use, it doesn't really matter. So um, what you can do is you can solder on alligator clips like I've done here. I've soldered this wire to an alligator clip here and I did the same thing on the other side and so it's just easier to attach what you can do is you can directly solder these wires to your electromagnet or you can just uh, wrap them you can I mean your favorite way of bonding wires together will suffice properly Ow. yeah make sure it's not plugged in when you are uh, you know hooking this up okay so anyways make sure it's unplugged so you don't electrocute yourself like I just did and uh, go ahead and take this okay it's, it's not plugged in Connect both ends like this, and then you can plug it in. You can plug this into your computer, or if you have a converter, you can plug it directly into the wall. Um, either way, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to plug it in real fast. So right now our electromagnet is alive. Um, what I had on my other version is I had a small switch, totally optional. Um, basically, it allows it to turn on and off. Right now it's completely on, it's live, um, because it's plugged in. So what you could do is just have it so that you have a switch on it. Um, like I said, it's completely optional with the switch, but basically you just put a switch between here and here. Um, or I mean between uh, the electromagnet and the wire. Just so when you switch it, it uh, lets the current go through. So since the magnet's on, you should be able to pick up stuff. So that is how you make an electromagnet for less than five dollars out of about three things. So if you like this video please uh, like, comment, subscribe and uh, I'll be back soon with another video. Thanks, bye.